Here we are again, exposing two of Satan's kids. This is actually um, a demonic matrimony, <laughs> I should say. Now, her name is Jessica Wilfram, all right? And I am going to talk specifically about her now. Um, she has stalked me for over a year. Obsession is an understatement. She was in my YouTube membership. Um, I remember her testifying because she had spoke really badly about me. Um, she actually thought she was dying. And she was like, you know, from that day forward, she was like, I vowed not to ever speak ill of you um, again. But um, she married an illegal immigrant. I believe he's African. So um, what he promised her was he was basically going to train her um, in the kingdom of darkness because she wants power. You know, it's so funny to me how much um, God has blessed these witches. And he did this to make a mockery out of their God, lowercase g. Um, and so... Her wound was healed. She got so grieved and bitter at me because I exposed her uh, for just the carelessness and all her sexual partners, the things she had never repented for. Um, her daughter lives with a woman. I told her God is holding her responsible because she was a negligent parent. She got so bitter at me for exposing the truth. Y'all know I ain't a lying prophetess, apostle, none of the above. Here go her name. Boom. And in my past, I have been sexually active with so many men throughout my life. You made sure to tell me when you were praying for all of the women's dead wounds. Okay. And all the bad choices I made with men. So as you were praying for us, we had to repent for lying, being dishonorable to God, defiling our temples. These are the women that are online calling me witches, guys. Would you take a listen? Choose a man over God. I believe she's the one that did the YouTube videos about me. It was so hard to see that I was that horrible of a person, but I did obey. I have been wanting a divorce from my illegal immigrant husband. She ain't put that in that O um, because he wasn't pleasing me. The Lord reminded me of my past with all those men I had sex with and I had a partial hit hysterectomy before I turned 30. Little did I know that my wound was dead. I was blaming it on my husband. Later that evening, my whole abdominal area felt different and my vaginal area. I didn't know what was going on. All of this is new to me. I thank God for healing me. That same night, my husband and I was intimate and I felt him for the first time. These are the witches that are coming against me, guys. This is her on Discord because she followed me. Because these witches follow me. They stalk me. I kept dreaming of him sleeping with different women. I called him several times in my dreams. And I saw that he had a problem with corn. I saw that if I divorced him, my daughter would come back home. Let's, let's run it back, playboy. I saw that if I divorced him, my daughter would come back home. And my life would be much better. I told her, I said, he is also abusive and he won't stop. She said, Jesus, he hasn't done anything to me yet so far. I tell her, I said, adultery is abuse. And he has. You either lying or in denial. Corn is adultery as well. Verbal abuse is abuse. This is true. She said, and I want what he has for me. Um, I'm asking him for confirmation on divorce of my husband. Listen to this. I want that man to leave. We don't even live together. She's asking God for confirmation for an illegal immigrant that she doesn't live with, guys. He lives where he works. I barely see him. We really don't even spend that much time together. I've only been married to him a little over a year. He's African. He's from Lagos, Nigeria. He's, you know what's crazy? I'm just now reading this because a lot of times I read the first couple of sentences from these people because I know they be lying. Wow. <laughs> he said that he used to be a minister. She's funny for this. Listen to this. Because these witches, they always tell them this stuff. Hello, Apostle Genesis. How is your day so far? I just wanted to say thank you. I know I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer and acknowledge that I'm a little hard-headed at times, but I just want to say thank you. I've come a long way. I was truly a mess. I was deeply in delusional times 10. This is the first time I'm in my life that someone actually cares about me. You tell me the truth out of love and concern, and I'm honored to be under your guidance. I don't know what else to say, but thank you. This is what I wanted everybody to see. 
She says he went to college to study theology, to understand the word of God. He uses it against ministries and Christians. He also studies psychology. Let me just explain this to you for the people in the back. Um, I asked God, did he want me to go to Bible college? He said, absolutely not, because there, all the Masons run the Bible colleges. I'm going to run that back for the people in the back. He went to college to study theology, to understand the word of God. He uses it against ministries and Christians. This is why the Holy Spirit is not in any of your churches, ladies and gentlemen. And they strictly rely on theology. If your ministry is not completely led by the Holy Spirit, just like the apostles, you will never flow in miracles in Jesus' name. You will never do the things that God has called you to do in Jesus' name. Now, now, her life has already turned completely upside down for her constant um, coming against me by way of witchcraft. God told me to expose this warlock that she married of a husband because he is going to have a heart attack. If he does not repent, if he does not move on, if he does not see that nothing that he does will work against me, I am truly called by God. The only person that would that will allow that is allowed to do anything to me is my Lord and Savior at this point. This is what being a true apostle is. OK, so my recommendation for you, Miss Wilfram, and your demonic matrimony um, straight from the pits of hell is to stop monitoring me. Stop talking about me. Um, two of the things that he sent to me. I'm sorry. I, how could I forget this? Um, I asked God, what were the two things that he kept sending to me? He wanted me to develop a speech impediment. He sent confusion and death to me. Both of those spirits are sitting in his heart. So once I release this video. It is so. My recommendation, um, you God said you've never repented to this man before a day in your life. I would suggest you start repenting. I would. I would suggest you start repenting. Jessica Wilfram, I don't care if you do video. I don't care what you do. Um, I don't it what whatever you feel like nothing you like, it doesn't matter. Um, I just want to expose you witches at a way greater degree. Um, so that you all will know to stop playing with me. Um, every witch that's ever tried to come from my character that has lied on me, you you all are a bunch of liars. You're very deceptive, you're very manipulative with your words and everything. Thing. I tried to help you. You are married to an illegal immigrant. If I knew how to report you, I actually would. I would take it that far. You, you need to be exposed. This is illegal. My recommendation would be to let me go. Release me in Jesus name.